Kibby Pilet is often known here in Acadiana for his role on the Vermilion Parish School Board. But prior to that, Sergeant Pilet was a member of the Special Forces in Vietnam. On Friday, he was honored with a welcome home ceremony at Fort Polk. Danielle Garcia explains why this means so much to the veteran 53 years after his military career ended. And we were doing a recon operation for the 101st Airborne Division. And on the fourth day, third day of a, of a seven day operation, I got wounded. At 19 years old, Kibby Pilet was shot in the mouth and back while serving in Vietnam. Days before, he was set to return back to the United States. The bullet went through the tongue, so the tongue swelled up and blocked off my mouth. They had to cut the third of my tongue off. As the only soldier on his team with medical experience, but unable to talk, Kibby still managed to guide a fellow soldier on how to treat his wounds. Help eventually came, and Pilet gradually got better. But his physical recovery was nothing compared to the mental battle he would face for the next five decades. I was just cell shock. That's the way they took it. Because at the time, no one knew anything about PTSD. Because PTSD is a terrible thing. People have no idea of just what it is. To really have two minds, to have one that is a conscious understanding, and have another one that just takes over, just blinds it out. Pilate's memory was fuzzy, and PTSD so severe that he became violent in the hospital, and meanwhile developed an addiction to morphine. He says he barely recalled the mission in Vietnam until many years later. In 2007, I realized what had happened to me. So I applied to the ABC and Army Board uh, to change my military records. Pilet says the Army didn't recognize his war-related injuries, honorably discharging him from service instead of activating his retirement. Why? You know, it's a question you have. Why did they do that to me? I, I bled for this country. I did it every time I had. And then you don't just hit me out. 53 years after he was shot on the front lines, Pilet says his release from the military is being reviewed and could be changed to include retirement. That's why Friday night's welcome home ceremony at the Bain Jones Army Hospital served as a new beginning for Pilet and the first step towards answering his prayers. Oh, I'm so grateful and so thankful to the people. You know, to finally get recognition for the things that I've been through. In Abbeville, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3. Sergeant Pilet is now waiting to hear back from the Physical Evaluation Board to see if he will be able to get retribu retribution as a retired veteran. He's also a Purple Heart recipient.